Hello everyone, well here's something we say every day of the week, don't we? It's a beautiful day for football in Manchester at the Etihad Stadium. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me in the commentary box providing expert analysis is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Manchester City taking on Chelsea. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And so they start at 11 for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Ilkay Gundogan plays with Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of the pitch. And the lone striker today is Erling Haaland. And here's how it looks for Chelsea. Kepa stands between the posts. Kalidou Koulibaly plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Kai Havertz starts with Raheem Sterling out wide. And leading the line today is Joao Felix. It ought to be a really interesting battle. Chelsea kick off. Using his physical strength to shield it and giving the ball away. Well, he's allowed it to go over the touchline, so a throw in. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Gundogan. Holland did well to win the ball back. Enzo Fernandez. Beautifully weighted ball. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. And that'll be a Chelsea ball. The cross not quite accurate enough. Well, it's always a great thrill to watch Erling Haaland in action. He can be absolutely unstoppable, and we should expect that he'll have a prominent role to play in this one, Stuart. Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique, and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. And it's still on for him. Mares. Back to Haaland. That's a very fine piece of tackling. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. Chilwell. It's with Koulibaly. Losing custody of it, Conte. Joao Felix might be able to set up the chance. Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he's just a bit too eager there. All well and good playing on the shoulder, but he just needs to bend his run to stay onside. Gundogan. Kevin De Bruyne. On to Mares. De Bruyne. Holland. 
John Stones. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And dribbling with it, but out of play. Bali Conte Riyad Mahrez moving it forward giving it a try oh that's textbook goalkeeping And short it is. And the advantage is with City. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Now can they counter clinically? N'Golo Conte. Let's fly here! Well, the goalkeeper is thankful that it wasn't a better effort than it actually was. Stones. Poor pass under no real pressure. And they need to get tighter. Sterling. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Gundogan. Here's Grealish. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? A disappointing end to the move. De Bruyne. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Going well. Joao Felix. On to Sterling. Can they forge ahead? No. Chance missed. And a big chance at that, Derek. He should have put them in the driving seat there. Well, he thought he might have got away with it, but the referee rightly going back and brandishing the yellow card. Kevin De Bruyne. It's with Gundogan. Holland. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. Conte. Enzo Fernandez. And back with Havertz, James, and flag raised, offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. Rodri Riyad Mahrez It is advantage Manchester City here Gundogan 
And an astute piece of defending. This might be ideal for the counter. And Kai Havertz. Now with Chilwell. And returns to Joao Felix. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Kai Havertz. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Must take the lead here. And Sterling has it. Havertz! Oh, that's a fine save. And if you're wondering about out of time, two minutes it'll be. Rodri. De Bruyne. And there we have it. That brings to an end the first half here at the Etihad. Didn't quite perform to his usual standards in the first half, Erling Haaland. Stuart, your take? Yes, there's certainly room for improvement. He struggled to have any real impact on the game. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Havertz. Really vital interception here. Holland, De Bruyne now. How can he take them on and beat them? Now the attack fizzled out. Just the challenge that was required. N'Golo Conte. Joao Felix. Well, couldn't keep it. Joao Felix. Wesley Fofana. Sterling, given away by Chelsea. Riyad Mahrez. What can they do from here? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Chilwell. How about the cross? And pretty simple for Ederson. Well, as the stats confirm, the game hasn't got going so far and the attack in play from both sides has been really poor. But some credit must go to the defenders because they've dominated here today. Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. Speculative effort. Well, he didn't miss by an awful lot. Chelsea unable to hold on to the ball. Haaland. Can he put it away? De Bruyne. Here's Havertz. Can he put them in front? 
Just cutting off the supply. Joao Felix. On to Sterling. And returns to Joao Felix. Superb block. And Sterling has it. And here's Joao Felix. Could go ahead. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. And they will make the change now. They favoured a short one here. Sterling crossing. Felix just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. And a corner coming up for Chelsea. Can they make good use of it? And played short. In by Sterling. Another keeper had to intervene under a bit of pressure there. And Chelsea looking dangerous. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Holland. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. Well, the flag has gone up here. Offside it is. What a shocking pass, really. Holland. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Chilwell. Conte has it. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. Gundogan. Grealish. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium. But can they find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to them. And it's positive from Manchester City. Is it in the cards for them to score a late winner? That is how to put in a challenge. He's been a bit unlucky to concede the corner. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Now, how about the short corner? Bernardo Silva. On to Mares. Back with Silva. De Bruyne. A oh, very effective play, and they might be onto something. De Bruyne. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next, and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Here it is now, a substitution. And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front.
the big moments in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? The onus is on Chelsea to be positive with time running out. And the referee says corner kick. Playing it in. Threat over for now, it seems. Thiago Silva. And teammates around him. Sterling. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Still pressing for an equaliser. Well, lovely work to get past his man. And a fantastic diving save. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent their last chance to grab an equaliser. to pick out a teammate he must struggle to get it away properly well nothing untoward happened this is looking threatening and that is that full time here and a win for City your verdict Yes, Derek, sometimes it takes a while to eventually get the better of the opposition, and that was the case here. They kept going, and they eventually got their reward. Well, many will regard him as the complete midfield player, Kevin De Bruyne, and how do you shackle him? It's well-nigh impossible, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a good all-round performance today, only emphasised by the late winner. An extremely important moment, and boy, did he deliver.